This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, we made our way through the Cave of Eblan, and we're back in the Tower of Babel now. We got Edge in the party. Going after Rubicant. Don't bluster me. Yeah, not a fan of that move. I always hate instant kill stuff when it goes against me. Fine when I use it. Well, fine. Although it does seem like maybe that was a counter-attack, so I guess I'll just need to make sure I hit them with a really powerful attack when I do hit them. Eh. Yeah, I guess I did use it on edge, so I have to use another one to bring Rosa back up, but that's alright. I have plenty of lives now because I did buy 10 of them and we've been finding more of them too. That didn't get me very far. Yeah, whatever. Okay, next floor, I guess. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I am running from some of these, so I guess at some point I'm probably gonna have to stop and do some leveling up. Or else we're going to start running into stuff that'll just wipe me out. Yeah, there must be treasure up here first. Okay, just that one. 2,000 GP. Guess they hurt me a little bit. That's more than some of those other treasures were. Yeah. I think I'll run from that to being a back attack. It was regular attack I'd probably take him on. Which way first? Okay, there's two doors that look like they connect, but I have to come up from a different way, I guess. Middle sword. So yeah, I think he has short. So if we go to middle, that means it'll be better. You can equip the, the claws as well. And the dancing dagger. Let's see how that does for him. Hmm, dang it. Oh, I don't think I missed any treasure over there, but I hate to something behind like that. A grudger and balloons. Gonna run since it's a surprise attack. Yeah. A lot of back attacks and surprise attacks. This isn't exactly my favorite area to try to fight and level up anyway. Okay, no, there was nothing over there. Yeah, another surprise attack. I know these guys have that counter attack they do with virus. Come on. Counter rate's fairly high, too. Well, 
I say that, and then I make it quite a while without getting into a fight. Go figure. Fine. Ooh, well that axe does really well against the Mad Ogres. Suppose that's why they were guarding it, maybe, huh? Ed's leveled up. Now that I finally decided to fight one of the battles. Alright, basement three. I think that's the way we gotta go. Okay, yeah, there's dead end there. I think that's like where I gotta go. That warp point there. Hey, okay, there's a save point there, but I think this door actually just leads me back down to that other area um, where there were two doors that I couldn't access. And then this is probably just a treasure room. Oh, no. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that wasn't. Um, progress. Maybe it's like it was on the other part of the tower where I saw that part where Rubicon teleported, but I can't use it. I guess we'll go back and check quick, and plus I'll stop and use a tent at the save point. Oh, come on. Well, they're gonna let me strike first. Not even, Jesus. Why even call it a first strike, then? And I know some people probably say that, well, turn down your battle speed then, but I don't mind that they attack quickly. It's mostly the first strike thing, and I'm thinking, well, I should at least get a chance to hit first, even if my speed is up pretty high. Big money, big money. Good experience. Pretty, I gotta level up. Let's check the teleport thingy here first. Okay, it doesn't even give me a message. I almost made it back to the room here. Gonna have more cabins than tents pretty soon. And our MP might be getting high enough to the point where I start want to start using cabins anyway. I'm gonna use a different slot. Oh. Okay, now I suppose the middle is the way to go, so maybe there's a treasure over here? Yes. I think I can handle these guys well enough. They don't seem to have anything too annoying. No counters or anything like that.
Hopefully the girls finish that one off before he jumps so he can take the other one on. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. Edge even got another turn in. Alright. I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, those guys aren't worth that much though either. Because that's reasonable. Well, that's what I'm talking about. E2000 GP. That'll keep me stocked up for a little while. Well, the next place I get the armor will probably cost like 50,000 each or something like that. Yeah, nice hit. Have the girls try to hit the sorcerer. Alright, let's go, Cecil. Finish him. Okay, Cisa and Rosa length gain level. She got fast. I'd actually try and use that in the next boss fight. Uh-oh. Should have healed. Gotta fight these guys. Edge. Dad. Mom. I'm glad you so am I. Edge, come. Come with us. To where? To the Dark World. Yeah, they're not really his parents anymore. I will bring you all down to the Hades. Try his ninja. Yeah, that's fine. Dad? Mom? What's wrong with you? Yeah, that did decent. Let's see how her fire does. Everybody's using fire, huh? Maybe I should see how ice does against them. Yeah, I did about a thousand each. Close enough to it. It's me, Edge. They snap out of it, kind of. They became conscious. Edge. Listen. We're no longer human. We must not live long. Sorry, dear. Before we lose our mind, let's go. Take care, bitch. I don't know if we have to keep fighting him or not. No, please! Okay, yep. Gonna die off, it looks like. Bye, Ed. No, Mom! Don't go! Actually, wasn't too bad. Ah. Huh. 
Uh oh. Fire guy's here. Wretched Luge. How dare he? Rubicon. I'm gonna forgive you. Never. Luge turned your parents into monsters on his own. I apologize for that. I'm not like the others, you see. I want to play fair. Shut up! How brave. But you'll never gain real strength as long as you are swayed by emotions. I'll show you the power. Of anger. Rage drew out Edge's hidden powers. Edge acquired blood and blitz. I see. My cloak of flame cannot be penetrated even by cold. Alright, it does let me go into the menu here. I am gonna heal, just because I'm not 100% sure how this plays out in each version of the game. Now I restore you to full strength. Fight with all your might. So yeah, he does give you a free heal. I thought so, but I wasn't 100% sure if it happened the same way in every version. So yeah, he's kind of... Divorced that way, I suppose. Um, Blitz is like lightning and Flood is his water or ice. Not sure how much it's gonna... Okay, it healed him. Hope that doesn't take Kane out. Oh no, it's pretty weak. Yeah, I think we can hurt him while he's in this form. It's when he has the cloak drawn up around him. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, Edge is dead, but we'll heal Kane. Hope he drops the cloak before Rydia summons. Otherwise, Shiva might heal him. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I don't know how to tell when he's going to drop his cloak. And jump still hurts him just as well. Okay. But it'll probably bring him back up before I get a chance to hit him with ice. I don't know. I can jump him to death, though, at this rate. She would probably hurt him more, but I think the ice goes off faster. Well, not gonna matter. Not gonna, not gonna matter. Okay, that'll take Edge out, probably. Yeah. That hurt a little. Okay. 
Yeah, Cure 2 should be good enough to get Edge up. See how much that hurts now. Yeah, there we go. Bryant? Okay, never mind. It was mostly Kane doing the work there, though. I suppose I could have put the Ice Sword back on Cecil. That probably would have helped. Or Ice Brand. 7,000 GP, 5,000 experience. Well... Now I see why Golbez had a hard time with you. People can join forces. Why are you warriors? Farewell. Still kind of dissing us, calling us weak, but... <laughs> Dad. Um. Avenged you. Your Highness. Uh, like the cavalry's here. Chamberlain. We won't let your highness go alone. Where is Rubicon? Over. We did. That becomes the prince. All because of these guys. Thank you, good sirs. Who's Golbez? The one gathering the crystals to reach the moon. He is the mastermind of Rubicon. By the moon. For the power. And we have to stop him. Golbez. He was behind all this. I'm gonna go get him. Oh, but your highness, we must rebuild our castle. The world is in danger. I gotta do something. Besides, I don't like that guy. Oh, but your highness, don't worry. We'll go back to Evelyn. Very well. Sirs, please take care of our prince. Your highness, good fortune be with you. Kidoki. Yeah, we don't really have a choice. He's coming with us. Right. Let's go smash Golbez. Get back the crystals. All right, now let's go. All right, so, yeah, he just does have those three. I think he can still learn more um, abilities, but probably just as he levels from now on. If you were at a high enough level when he got his abilities unlocked, I don't know if you would get more than that or not. And yeah, we're not done in here yet, apparently. Ah, it's a crystal room. A pitfall? Yeah, the trap, and there's no way to avoid it, I don't believe. Ouch. Seems like we've fallen to the underground. Hmm. So yeah, we're again in a part of the tower that we couldn't access before. This is a first strike. So I guess I'll take the opportunity to go ahead and fight these guys. Even though I have complained already about how that doesn't really matter for much, apparently. At least that doesn't poison us when he does that as well.
Edge got a level and he learned pen. Okay, so yeah, there's another one. Queen Lamia back attack though, so I'm gonna go ahead and run away. If the egg opens up when there's another character there, I don't know if they would still summon or not. That's the question to be asked. I could have answered it there. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, no thanks to that either. As long as I don't drop all of my money, I'm happy enough. I think that's the way forward, so let's go over here first. Okay, yeah, just a treasure. Just a cure too. It's not that great, but... Didn't get too many encounters there, at least. Uh-oh. Starting to drop more money. Or stop running. What? New airship? Let's take this airship and get out of the tower. It's not yours. It's okay. It would be happy to be used by us. Just ready to steal it. Well, it's from our enemy, so I guess, yeah. All's fair in war, right? Isn't this a trap or something? Don't worry. I like this airship. Let's call it Falcon. How do you like that? Hurry, Edge. Okay, okay. Now... Go, Falcon! Guess he knows how to fly him. But yeah, we are back in the underground here now. Got a new airship. And yeah, we still we can't fly over the uh, magma with this one either. So there aren't too many options for us to go here, but um, you have a little more flexibility. But yeah, the only other place we could go to is over here. Is this is um, underneath the hole that we came down here through? But we sealed it up last time, so I guess we're kind of stuck down in here again. The only place we can go is to the Dwarf Castle. I think I got a fight in here. and Yeah. You know, party is pretty low level for this point, I think, so... Better save it before I go in. I don't know how many of these people are going to say anything different. Hole in the upper world crumbled the other day, and we found a strange man there. In the nursing room. We're the nurses, and we are girls. The only way you can tell is because they're wearing different color clothes. <laughs> Alright, let's stay at the inn here quick. And I guess let's go to the nursery then, because it sounds like they met a strange man there that appeared after the hole blew up. Or who that could be. Oh look, it's Sid, and he's sleeping there. 
But before we go and interact with him and find out what's going to happen next, we're going to go ahead and call it there for today. So we'll pick up here next time and we'll talk to Sid, or see if we can at least, and move forward. Anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.